the number two Democrat in the House, saying that the soaring U.S. debt will keep lawmakers from passing a budget. Congress will not pass a budget this year. We just have no direction, no plan. No budget, no problem. <laughs> we're adding to the spending. We're borrowing more money as a country. Debt has grown by over $2.4 trillion. Spiraling federal debt which is set to double, double double in five years and triple triples triple in ten years rising debt and runaway spending why are we having a jobless recovery because of the threats of washington overspending over controlling over taxing and over regulating if we are really serious about creating jobs we absolutely could identify a pathway stop spending money you don't have when you look at what is the big, uh, the big driver of American debt. It's health care. One of the most expensive government spending programs, health care. Each week, this 2,000-plus page health care bill just produces more bad news. Just one more Washington takeover. What the American people are seeing is that the cost of their care is going to continue to go up. They've chosen that Medicare Advantage program, and now it's going to be taken away. We'll actually increase national health care spending. The White House might view the upcoming election as its biggest crisis at the moment, but the American people are focused on fixing this pipe and cleaning up this mess. The Obama administration lost a big battle yesterday when a federal judge in New Orleans lifted the oil, deep water oil drilling moratorium. The moratorium will severely hurt the local economy. It's doing places like Louisiana more economic harm than the oil spill itself. This response is anemic and our failure to act is outrageous. They need to be successful today in stopping that leak. This is a disservice not only to the victims and their families, but also to the millions of Gulf Coast residents. When President Obama found out that uh, Tony Hayward was relaxing on his yacht, he was so angry he missed a putt. <laughs>